test application and thinking problem on inverse function. Explain the relationship between slope of a linear function with that of the slope of its inverse. Part 2 of this problem is if slope of linear function is 1.5 then what will be the slope of its inverse function? So let's try to solve the problem using general linear equation. Let us say y equals to mx plus b, right? So that is the equation of a linear function. Now to find inverse of this, we'll swap x and y. So we can write x equals to my plus b and then try to solve y. So we get x minus b equals to m times y or m or we can say y equals to x minus b times 1 over m, right? So that gives us the equation y equals to 1 over mx minus b over m. Now here f inverse of x is equal to 1 over mx plus b over m, right? So from the equation we can conclude that slope of the inverse function is actually reciprocal, right? So if m is the slope of the given function, then slope of inverse function will be reciprocal, right? So we'll make this conclusion here, that is slope of inverse function of a linear slope of inverse of a linear function is reciprocal of original slope. Right? So that is what we conclude from here. Now, the problem to test is if slope of a linear function is 1.5, so 1.5 is what? That means if m equals to 1.5, 1.5 is 3 over 2, then what will be the slope of its inverse function? So slope of inverse function, so that means slope of inverse function is equals to 2 over 3. So it will just flip, right? So that is going to be our answer, correct? So that is the answer for part B. So in general, if the slope of a linear function is m, the slope of its inverse function will be 1 over m, the reciprocal. That's an interesting conclusion. Thank you.